Okay, hello dear friends. So this one I will do a video. Maybe we will start with some tea. A lot of you would like to have tea. The tea is a little bit cold, but uh, it's okay. So this video <coughs> is about uh, Chinese, uh, uh, not Chinese, watercolor painting. And the other day I went to a shop and I found uh, I found that they are selling some uh, some paintings like these. For example, this one is uh, how much is paint? Uh, I didn't mention. Anyway, they are selling something such expensive price, and uh, and I just feel quite uh, bad. I feel bad for because uh, because it's kind of uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of make me sad. I feel that. Uh, those kind of painting, painting like this, I cannot understand. How can this kind of painting sell for thousands of dollars? And uh, if they do this in my class, the students do this in my class, I mean, they cannot even pass the class. I don't know, it's, uh, it's not that can, they cannot pass the class. So this one, A, B, let's see the price. This, this piece of uh, painting, they sell for $129. And this B, yeah, all the Bs, yellow and red, also in blue. Yellow and red, and, and these, they sell for, how can you? How dare you sell this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying this. See, you can hunt it this way, that way, that way, this way, and uh, and uh, and 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 this. What is this? What is? This? What is this? And this. You throw the color on the paper and you damage the paper and sell for money. I don't know. I just cannot understand this. I must be so... I had such a big problem with uh, abstract painting. It brings a mood. But... Uh, but... Uh, and this, this, how can you put this in, in a shop? And this, everybody can do this. I just feel that, that uh, this world is quite, uh, not easy for us to understand. I am sorry. Must be not so. But anyway, I feel. Um, anyway, they have every right to sell whichever, whichever painting, whichever things they, they, they are willing to sell, and I think. We also have every right to say whatever we think about this painting, right? And uh, we do not want to hang a painting like that, but it does not mean that uh, other people do not like to hang it. I think if uh, something that uh, has such a big price tag Whatever it is, people will buy it because uh, they buy for the price tag. They buy for the price tag of those things. They may not buy for that particular 
painting, right? Because it's expensive, so we buy it. And uh, because other people buy it, so we buy it. Because it's expensive, so it shows that, uh, that we can afford, so why not buying it, right? And uh, anyway, so here we will do some painting. And uh, I'm sorry to show you this painting because those paintings, as in the catalog, they sell for hundreds of dollars. And my painting only was, was a few cents, maybe a few dollars. So, kind of, uh, I'm kind of sorry to show you this worthless things. Where did I put it? Gosh, I cannot even find it. I hope I can find it, but I cannot. Okay, let's do this one together. How about? This was nothing, so anyway, I will not be joking around. Okay, so we have a piece of, uh, so first we get a piece of dark paper. Let me find a piece of dark So I use not so dark tape because we want to tape the tape on top of it. So we will do it here. How about that? So you tape the edge of it. Tape on one side and then the other side. Okay, I have not one thing. We will use a pencil and mark where we want to paint. Here, here. This way we can do exactly. So this way we start from here. This way we end. Oh, no 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 no. None of that. And here. Okay, that is good. Not bad. This one. Yeah. Okay, so we make an edge. You may not be able to see it very clearly, and I'm sorry to do this blah blah blah. So uncultured blah blah blah. I feel a little bit ashamed of myself. I cannot see clearly. Actually, this is white paper, so... Okay, should be good. So, one... A block. Another one. And then we... Inside this block... We will do one long one, one thin one. How about that? Do not make it all the same. Okay, so we will have a cup of water. And uh, I do not want to waste paper. So this is the, 
the paper I have already, this is the water I have already used, so you can continue to use it. You need a piece of paper, just uh, sometimes you get too much water, you need to stack it to, 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 you need to erase, you need to um, absorb the excess water and a cardboard watercolor does not have to be expensive. This is uh, what I bought for students' use. And it's a large paper and I cut some out so that they have a square paper. And this is a leftover. This usually, if you do not use it for this, will be thrown away. I do not throw away. I give students as uh, um, as a reward, if they are doing good, behave well. I give one piece of this as a, as a bookmark paper. They like it. They like it very much. So we will use, how about we use green color. So you get some light green and dark green. These are just you normal um, normal cut. This one is already dried out. We will not use it anymore. Okay. Actually, there are three greens, looks like. So, get some water. Some green, very light green. So, we will do it the first. Maybe a little bit more, okay, just like that, and we will dry one part of it so that we can walk on. And at this time, you need to get your brush a little bit dried, a little bit dried, not too much dried. Sorry, you cannot see clearly. Okay, now we will do our very first layer of light green. Very, very, very light. Almost invisible. That's not a problem. Okay, very. You can always go the second time, do not worry, you can always go the second time. Okay, so the upper part is a little bit darker, right? And the lower part is a little bit lighter. Use this light part, that's a very, very valuable part. And now we will do the second layer. So we will do it this way. Okay, now we do the third layer, layer after layer. Maybe we need to dry it a little bit. Okay. Okay, then the next layer. It does not show that well, right? Do not worry. You can always walk on it. Okay. 
we just use I think that is good. So now we need to get it a little bit dried. So you want your brush to be dried. Make sure your brush is dried. At the edge, do not have to do all along. Just when you feel you want to do, you do a little bit. So whichever color you can, you can choose whichever color you like to do it. It could be green color, it could be uh, two shades of uh, different green or two shades of different blue so this one is uh, blue where is my blue one so this one is blue i have used two different blue this blue and these two blues you can also add a little bit of uh, of purple color or different color right so this one is coming out later so add some texture here and there. For no reason we come out another texture. It's just make it interesting, right? Okay, so how about we keep on do another one of this green since we still have the green brush. So we do one layer of green, very, very light, the invisible green. And then we can use this to stab a little bit. I put it closer so that you can see closer. Does it look like a cloud, right? You absorb the white, then it becomes cloud looks like cloud now we oh oh sorry now we add the first layer of green first layer of light green Okay, there is an edge, we do not want to see this edge, so you can add more of this green. Okay, okay, so now it's much better. So we have done our first layer of green, and we use the same green actually, you do not even need to change the green at this time. Now let's do the other layer of green. Uh oh, it does not show. Yeah, it's too light, just cannot see. Okay, we put some more green. This is still working on the light green, you can see. And, uh, our trace is here. Good, good, good. It's about this nuance. It's not about a big um, watercolor. It's so much about the the uh, the dreamy and uh, very very light color. Okay, now we use dark green. The darker color. Okay, let's 
go merge a little bit. Okay, this is our edge. It does not have to be so slow as what I am doing now. I am enjoying this so I would like to make it slow but if you if you are in a rush and if you do not want to do it so slow you can by all means do it much faster right it is your choice to do whichever speed you feel comfortable with. Okay, now we will add another layer of green. And the brush I'm using is a Chinese painting brush, white cloud, Chinese painting brush. Maybe I should. Okay, you can create some texture. How about we put some black on? As I remember, black is uh, is kind of greenish. This black is a little bit greenish, so we will do some black. Yeah, it's kind of green. Okay, that's about it. We will not do too much. Too much is too much. We don't need to be too much. So, this one we will still do a green. We will have more room to do different layers.
This one to sell for one million. Picture of you, picture of me. Mm-hmm. 